What's up everybody? So this is gonna be a little bit different type of content than you're used to seeing on this page. Babe, say hi to the to the vlog. Hi. We, uh, we're doing a vlog today because we are moving so much stuff. We're moving our life. We're going all in on the podcast. I'm gonna show you guys a little insight into what is happening. So check this out. So for those of you guys that don't know, I own a gym and I'm getting rid of it and we are trying to bring everything home. So we have created a home office and in our sunroom which is really cool because if you're someone like me, it's hard, like I like to get up and get straight to work. Mo uh, some days I take my son to school, so that's the only time that I get to see the sun really throughout the day is just in the morning. So we decided to put the home office in the sunroom and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what's going on. All right, so first thing that you're gonna see is these horse stall mats. We put gym matting in here honestly because I have a whole bunch from the gym that I brought home and we need to utilize it somehow. We're actually gonna put more mats here and then just have it just for fun. It helps this uh, chair roll a little bit. So we have the office chair, the mixer, the desk, the boom stand for the mic, monitor, Mac, everything in here. We still gotta add some more stuff. To be honest with you guys, the hardest portion of this, of getting all this together is the fact that cable management is so rough. Like look at all these cables right here. There's so many cables that are behind this because so many things need to be plugged in. We're making it work. So what I gotta do right now is I have to vacuum these horse stall mats and I gotta wash them off a little bit. Vacuuming is done. Time to Swiffer, Swiffer cleaner upper. Cleaning is done so far, at least for right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some time because I have to edit the podcast. So the podcast that's going up today is Colton Mertens. And this was a freaking phenomenal podcast. Like it was amazing. Colton is, he's a great dude. He's just a great dude. That's, that's all there really is to say. Tons of knowledge about, you know, not being a victim. He had, you know, some stuff happened to him last year before his um, season. So we are going to, uh, we're going to edit that podcast because I think it's going to be super valuable for a lot of people. Drink some Paper Street coffee. Drink some Paper Street coffee. There we go. Thanks, dude. How's that thing, man? Dude, that was awesome. All right. So editing the podcast for YouTube is all done. Now I just have to kind of mix it down and make it, um, make the audio available to put on our RSS feed so we can put it on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, or not Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, and I think it's somewhere else. I think it's one more place, but I don't know, man. We just try to put it everywhere. So that is done. I got to do some clips. I got a bunch of good clips. This, this podcast is so good. This podcast is so good. Please watch it when it comes out. Um, and then after that, I'm going to organize a little bit. So the most frustrating and annoying part of this podcast so far is not even the podcast, it's the internet in the town that I live in. Like Spectrum, is it Spectrum now or is it time? It's Spectrum. Spectrum just sucks. It's so bad. It goes out. It's intermittent all the time. It goes in and out all the time. Spectrum, get your stuff together. Um, so I'm looking at changing to AT&T internet actually. Anyways, I'm taking a break while this podcast actually uploads and I'm going to clean up dog poop in our yard. All right, poop job is completely finished. We picked it all up. At least I hope we did because our kids, now that the, the groundhog said that spring is coming sooner than we thought, guys. So now the kids are gonna wanna go play outside in the backyard, stuff like that. Anyway, and I'm gonna show you guys something later. But anyway, for those of you that don't know, we are carnivore when we are not traveling. When we travel, we're not carnivore, but when we aren't traveling and we're at home, we control all variables. We can control all variables, rather. We are carnivore. I'm gonna make half of this packet into burgers, two burgers, and throw some cheese on it, and I'm gonna have some fruit with it. And I know some of you guys are gonna say, you're not actually carnivore if you're eating fruit. Shut up, just shut up, just shut up, okay? Just shut up. We're doing the Paul Saladino version where we drink raw milk whenever we can go get it. We have beef, like majority beef in our diet, we eat bacon, we eat fruit, we eat maple syrup, we eat honey, and we drink coffee because we like coffee. Fitness, health, wellness, all that stuff is about being 90, 85 to 90% on 10 to 15% off, all right? 
Okay, glad we agree. While those burgers are cooking on the stove, I'm just gonna, I feel like we're close already. I feel like we've developed this relationship. I'm gonna let you guys in more on our life and show you what our freezer looks like. And yes, I have to go outside for this because this is where we store the meat and stuff. All right, so we are in our garage now. In case you guys wanted to know, yeah, we have a garage and there's a freezer in this garage. And this is what we got. Boom. Every month we buy a butcher box. So we have a whole bunch of uncured hot dogs for the kids because they like hot dogs. And you know, we are those parents that want our kids to be health conscious, but you know, just being, you'll get it when you're parents. Okay. And, and as long as we can get the most healthy in quotes option for the kids with the foods that they like, and we can consistently feed them protein and nutrient dense food. That's what we're looking for. And for us, the butcher box is so much cheaper than going to the grocery store and buying beef. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is our gym. But before I show you guys like the home gym, I gotta change my shoes because honestly, I call these the communal slippers. They're Heather's slippers that my mom bought her for Christmas like last year. I call them the communal slippers because I just put them on whenever I can to walk around the house. I need to get a pair of slippers. So let's go to the shed and I'll show you guys the home gym and what's gonna happen. So we walk outside of our garage and then here's my truck, Ford F-150 Sport. I'm not gonna show you the license plate because that'd be weird. And then here's our shed, boom. And then we go up to the keypad and if you guys for a minute think that I'm gonna show you our passcode 3846, then you're sadly mistaken. So here we go. Oh snap, oh snap. We're gonna have to change the shutter speed so that you guys can see inside. So this is the home gym. Um, these mats came from my gym that I own and that I'm getting rid of, so I have to clean it up. I have to vacuum the area. But yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. And I am super excited. I'm super excited because I think home gyms are dope. The community aspect of CrossFit, the community aspect of CrossFit is really important, but as a business owner, as somebody who's trying to get this podcast off the ground and I have online clients that I talk to almost every single day, I need a place that I can just like, come and train right away. So when I need to do really, really crossfit stuff, that's when we'll go to a different gym, but this is gonna do. We have two other rowers that we're bringing here. We have um, a Zbex, I think, assault, like an assault runner basically at the gym. We have three Echo bikes. We have one C2 bike. Um, we have this yoke slash squat stand. We're gonna put our other squat rack over there, the one that's like movable. We have it at the gym because we needed more squat stand space. We have a bunch of bars, bumper plates, stuff like that. And then for our driveway, for our driveway when the summer hits, we have all these mats out here. We're actually gonna put an outdoor rig so that we can train at home outside during the spring and summer. So I'm super excited for that. Let's go check on these burgers. Ooh, boy, them burgers is crackling. All right, we are about to eat. Two patties with cheese, and then we got two blood oranges. That's what we are going to eat for lunch today. I have more stuff to do for podcasts and online clients, so we're gonna eat up and do work. And my son's birthday is on Saturday, so I gotta go buy him a birthday gift, like ASAP, ASAP Rocky style. We're gonna do that. All right, so that, I think that was a good trial run for the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy getting into our life a little bit. I don't know how often I'm gonna do these, probably like maybe once a week, once every two weeks, something like that. But if you did like it, please make sure to give it that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And we'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace out, goodbye.